What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back here at the farm and I'm working on Zanali again. So I've been a little while since I've worked on it. I've um, been pretty busy working in the shop there, getting them all the strapping up and stuff. Dad's been helping me out for the last, this, all this week. So uh, maybe I'll give you a video or an update on that uh, when I get back home here at the end of this video. But uh, I did pick up some new tools here and I'm gonna try to get this back window out of here. So uh, got this sweet new um, glass tool, which I showed you in the other video there. And I uh, tried it out, so I think it works pretty slick. So a lot of these guys use like these uh, side knives that you stick in there to cut them open, but I think I'm just gonna poke it out, stick it on the back here somewhere to get the bottom cut out, and then, I don't know, figure something out. But I think I should be able to make it work, or I think I can maybe do it on the inside glass, but I don't know how. It might not like pulling up through all these wires there, I'm not too sure exactly, but at least for the top and for the, sides i can do it on the inside here and then on the bottom i think i'm just gonna yeah probably just stick it like somewhere back here and then just pull the put the wire in on the inside and then suck it through there and try that out because i'm just gonna change this piece it'll be way easier just to change that piece uh with the other part off the other cab there and it'll be all fixed up and that'll be much better because then you don't worry about trying to i'll probably end up breaking the glass or something trying to straighten that out so might as well just Pull this black window out with this wire too, it should be no problem. So let's give that a go. problem at all and I just held the rate on this back glass too so that works pretty good so now I just need to cut the sides which I probably could have done maybe with the bottom I don't know I'm sure I can probably do that with the bottom too somehow but I'll just cut them separate here Alrighty, so now I got the window out of the here and uh, it came out so easy with that too. I mean, you had to kind of like move it into four different places. Like I did the bottom in one piece, the top in one piece and both sides, but it wasn't too long. It took me about like, I don't know, about 25 minutes to take it out. So it's not terrible. Better than breaking it anyways and you don't scratch anything up, right? So, but now I'm gonna pull this uh, back cover off here. So I'll just use my uh, welder, spot welder tool and just grind these off. It shouldn't be too many. Just kind of gonna go, I think it just goes to right here. And it's the bottom lip here, so uh, let's grind these off and uh, pull this back cover off. Alright, so got the back piece off here and it looks pretty good. So I think it's just this little part right here that needs to be uh, tweaked back straight. This is all good, I'm pretty sure it's not pushed down or anything, so... I'll uh, had to pull off that uh, back piece off the other cap tomorrow because I wasn't sure if I was going to use it yet, so I haven't pulled it off yet. So uh, do that tomorrow and uh, <clears throat> get us all mounted up, put this back piece on here, and then uh, I guess just start welding this all together. Finish up. I'm pretty much done welding the uni side on there, but needs a couple little spots need to fix up, and then uh, it can all get pretty much welded on, and I can start the bodywork for the paint for this thing. So uh, I guess I do still have a little bit of work to do on the. Yeah, finish putting a few of these mounts on here, but that's should be able to do all that too in about a couple hours and uh, get it all ready for paint. And then this pretty much have to paint the whole cab. I need to paint the unisides, the roof skin, and this front clip. So pretty much got to paint all of it, and uh, maybe the one of these doors too. Right? I'll probably have to blend these doors once I get it all painted, but I can do that after. So once it's all together, but uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So it's. Getting there, it's a big project for this one. And I've uh, been so busy with the shop, I haven't been able to uh, work on it too much, but uh, be nice to get this all wrapped up. So anyways, I'll catch you tomorrow and I'll work on that later. Alrighty, so I went and got the back panel off that other cab here and uh, put a little bit of weld through primer on it and cleaned it all up and cleaned up this bar and uh, straighten out that little bit of a kink in it. So we set it out here and it pretty much fits 
perfect and uh go on just like that so i'm just going to clamp this thing down make sure it's in place and i can weld this on and then i can get this uh roof panel ready to prep and weld on there too i'll have to glue one part the very top there but that's pretty minor but once i clean this all up i'll have to clean all that little bit of glue off there and get some more of that uh it's kind of like an adhesive foam they spray in the gap it just uh keeps it from rattling right so but i'm gonna clamp this all on here and uh, get this welded up first So I ended up uh, getting all the fender brackets on here because I didn't have the glue for the roof skin So I'm just gonna leave that for now and uh, I left the glue at my house So I ended up went welded on all these fender brackets and I mounted up all the fenders so pretty much got the gaps good on these and uh, I finished up a little bit of grinding on this uni side here and then I finished up all this uh, Replace this piece back here. So that one's looking pretty good. So pretty much just need to uh, Weld on that roof skin. Uh, I need to, but I need to put some glue up on that on the beams there. That's all that holds the crossovers onto the roof skin. Is some glue in the back one's actually like a foam or foam adhesive glue. So that kind of just uh, takes away the vibration and a little bit of sound out there. So I need to get a little bit of that stuff tomorrow. But uh, through the doors on the other side there, just make sure everything lines up. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So uh, this uh, front structure is pretty much all the way wrapped up. And uh, just think. Just got the roof skin left, so got about another probably a half a day or a day of uh, welding and grinding and get everything everything uh, kind of nice and smoothened up. And then I got a little bit of body work on the skinny side here, and uh, be pretty much ready for paint. So get this thing all painted up, and I think I'm gonna paint it, uh, pull the front doors off here or the door all four doors off, and then uh, paint both uni sides, the roof skin and the front fenders all at once. And the front structure. So just leave the. I'm gonna paint just a little, spray a little bit on the back underneath the fender there and uh paint it with the fenders on and everything so then i can just uh slap the hood on there and uh throw the doors back on and be good to go so i'm gonna have to paint or blend on both these doors anyways but i'm just gonna just blend them on a stand and then uh you know, take the fender and the stuff off and probably just blend halfway because these this door is mint that door is mint uh <laughs> so i don't need to paint anything on there just need to paint on this uh where there's a little ding here so might as well fix that little bit of a dent and uh blender into the doors and that'll be pretty much wrapped up and everything will be perfect on here and then i just have a little bit of body work and uh paint on that box and then this can all go back onto the cab and can finally start putting this back together throw a new window in there put the interior back together and uh be getting pretty close so uh that's gonna be a wrap for today's video and uh thanks for watching and tune in for the next one peace